They made history last year and they have put this Rangers franchise in a brand new position and that is world champs and so their reward for this of course is the gorgeous trophy we've seen so much over the offseason but also now these special rings for these players. The amount of class that they showed with the ceremony the presentation and you look at the rings and it just blows you away. Ladies and gentlemen your 2023 world champion Texas Rangers. Cody Bradford on the mound tonight. Bradford getting the start in the second game of the regular season for the defending world champs. One two pitch and he goes with a fastball and gets the corner strike three call. Great job by Bradford executing the fastball inside after not doing it on the last pitch. Perfect placement and great job by Jonah Heim framing strike three. In the air right field playable for Garcia two away. And lifts this one left side. Maybe playable. Young gets over. Has room. Inning over. A 10 pitch. First inning for Cody Bradford. Here come the Rangers. Starting pitcher for the Cubs. Kyle Hendricks, 93 up, 69 down. Career ERA of 3.48. Closing in on 1,500 innings pitched. Real nice bounce back year for the professor in 2023. His first pitch is lined right back up the box. That's a base hit. Simeon's first hit of the season. Jumping on the first pitch. Two seam fastball right there. There goes Marcus. And a swing and a bouncer right side. That's through base hit. Simeon racing for second base got a little caught up. He wasn't real sure what happened to the baseball. And so he holds second base. On the ground softly hit. Horner has only played a first. And out at first. Close play. Hendricks a 1-0. In the air. Right field Suzuki charging sliding and he makes the catch what a grab by Saya fires it in and it stays a scoreless game nice job Saya Suzuki racing in the 2 2 and that one is in there got him and Hendricks does a great job the first two reach and Kyle wriggles out of it what a job by Hendricks good defense behind him at the end of one no score the lefty Cody Bradford back to work. Christopher Morrell first pitch swinging and ropes one into left field the base hit and the leadoff man is aboard so Morrell at first and here's Dansby Swanson swing and a ball drilled left field that one back on its way and gone to run Homer Dansby Swanson Cubs lead two to nothing oh boy listen to the Cub fans there are a bunch of them here in the ballpark Swanson jumps all over this one center cut 90 mile an hour fastball boy that's his sweet spot Langford playing in his second big league game Langford on opening night in his major league debut went one for three family here here it comes and a hard ground ball base hit into left field for Langford. Oh, his second major league hit and a great start to the inning. So now he's on for Jared Walsh. That ball's hit well. Deep out to right and gone! Way back into the seats in right. A two run blast that ties this game at two. He gets a change up right there and stays on it and knows it immediately. What a poke, a good dozen rows up into the seats. Now here's Leody Tavares. Oh, Tavares slings the bat out towards second base on that strikeout. Well, Leody's arms weren't quite long enough, so he thought maybe if I toss the bat right here, maybe I'll get a foul ball. But that's a great changeup. Tough pitch and ground ball to second base for the bat. One down, a man at first, and the batter, Adolis Garcia. Who swings at the first pitch and lifts it high and deep out into right Suzuki going back on this he's at the wall and it's gone opposite field home run for Adolis Garcia he hit one on Thursday he's got one tonight and the Rangers have their first lead four to two taking opposite field and then dancing with Leody in the dugout the special hitter four to two Rangers as we head to the bottom of the fourth now Hendricks working on Jared Walsh the 1 0 offering swung on and that's blasted deep center field Bellinger going back turns and looks it's off the base of the wall Walsh on his way to second base he slides in safely with a double a scorching line drive that just never came down it left the bat at hundred twelve miles an hour Corey Seager now with men on the corners and two out up the middle that's a base hit Walsh scores Simeon to third Corey Seager drives in another run and it's five to two Rangers. How do you explain this kind of stuff? Hitless in 11 career at bats against Hendricks coming in and he's three for three against him tonight. Here's a uh, fireballer making his big league debut. Welcome 
to the show, Ben Brown. Mentioned acquired in that deal for David Robertson in 2022. 33rd round draft pick out of a high school in Long Island by the Phillies in 17. Tommy John surgery early in his professional career. It hasn't been a, a smooth ride to the big leagues, but Cubs got a good one when they made that deal with the Phillies. He's got a big arm. And a 2-2. Got him. Nice pitch. He's going to save that baseball. Jones will flip that towards the Cubs dugout. Nasty slide ball on the plate, but dipping down below the knees. 5-2 Rangers lead. Walsh starting things off here with the eighth inning. And he shoots it up the middle. My goodness, that was scalded into center field. You've got a gold glove shortstop there that wanted no part of that one. Well, that ball was hit 109.8 miles an hour off of the bat. Here's Jonah Heim. Ooh, that ball right down the line. That'll be extra bases. Hap trying to chase it down in the corner. Weird things can happen down there. He gets it back in, but not before Heim has a double. And Walsh is now 90 feet away at third. Great hitting here by Jonah Heim, getting the four-seam fastball from Brown up and away. So the infield is in with the bases loaded for Marcus Simeon. And that one smashed through. That's a hit. Walsh scores. Marcus picks up an RBI, his first of the year. It's his second hit of the ball game. It's now six to two. Bases loaded. Already three hits today for Corey. He's driven in a run. 0 and 1. Seeger swings and hits one off the pitcher's leg. It caroms all the way into foul territory on the third base side, and everybody will be safe. It's a four-hit game for Corey Seeger and a seven to two Ranger lead. As the Rangers breaking it open here in the bottom of the eighth inning. 14 hits in the game. Adolis is on deck and here's Carter 0 for 2 and 2 walks a pitch to Carter swung on and a hot shot hit to second base gloved by Horner his only play is the first in time to get Carter but another run comes home and the Rangers lead 8 to 2 as Evan Carter picks up his first RBI of the season and here's a Dolly's minute second and third and he'll get a fastball hits it high in the air deep out to center Bellinger's back near the wall he makes the catch Tagging at third, Simeon, he scores a deep sacrifice fly by El Bombe. He just missed. Almost the third of the year. And the Rangers lead it 9-2. to two. So it's a four-run inning now, and here's Josh Young. And he hammers that ball deep out to left. Hap can only watch. It's gone! Second deck of seats in left field. And Josh Young has opened it up in the eighth. His first home run, his first two runs batted in. Get used to this, Ranger fans. This lineup is awesome. 11 runs on the board. Brock Burke kicks over on the mound, meaning LeClerc doesn't have to throw today. One out, a man at first. Hard ground ball third. Young goes to second one. It's a double play. And that will do it. Brock Burke gets the ground ball. The 5-4-3 concludes it. And that's a perfect finish to a nearly perfect evening for the Rangers. 11 to the final. Let's do this every game.